Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to play Nintendo 64 backups on your Wii U. For this tutorial, the Virtual Wii and your Wii U will need to be homebrewed. I have a video below showing you how to homebrew the Virtual Wii and your Wii U. Since we are going to be playing Nintendo 64 games, I recommend you use both a Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Now let's get started. Click the link below and it will take you to this Google Code Archive page. Click the version which is at the top of the list, then save it to your desktop. After that, extract the zip folder to your desktop. Now open your Wii U SD card. Drag the Wii 64 folder to the root of your Wii U SD card. Then drag the apps folder to the root of the SD card too. This will replace the apps folder which is already on the SD card. It won't delete any data, it's just easier to do it this way. Now open up the Wii 64 folder which you drag to the root of your Wii U SD card. There should be two folders inside named Saves and ROMs. Drag your Nintendo 64 backups to the ROMs folder so you can play them on your Wii U. There are two games installed by default, but you can delete them if you want to. Now you can eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U. Now on your Wii U, open the Wii menu and homebrew channel as normal. You should see a new app named Wii 64 in the homebrew channel. Load Wii 64, then we'll go over how to use it. Before we start playing our Nintendo 64 backups, open up the settings menu and select input. In the input menu, you can map the buttons on your Wii remote and nunchuck to the buttons which are on the Nintendo 64 controller. After you customize your controls, let's load up a game. There are also more settings you can change in here. Press the load ROM button, then select load from SD card. Now you can select one of the games you put on the SD card earlier. After you selected your game, press the play game button. Now you can play the Nintendo 64 game which you loaded. Let's skip to the gameplay. You can see here that the Wii Remote and Nunchuck work just as well as the Nintendo 64 controller. When you're finished, save everything as normal, then press the 1 and 2 buttons at the same time on your Wii Remote. This will take you back to the Wii 64 menu. Here you can go back to the Homebrew channel or select another game. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comments below.
and I'll feature your channel in a video if your idea gets chosen.